A great budget graphics card is soon entering the GPU market. Yes, I'm talking about one of the budget graphics cards from Intel Arc family. The performance of this GPU is looking better than we thought. So stay tuned till the end and subscribe if you don't want to miss any updates on this. Just a week ago, the Intel's new Arc A370M graphics card unit was spotted on Babco and it was being used in one of the upcoming gaming notebooks using the Alder Lake Intel Core i7-12800H processor. While there was no other information other than its name being mentioned, it is very obvious that it was based on the Arc A380 desktop graphics card that will feature 128 execution units. This is the first GPU in the Arc lineup and the slowest among them, but it is actually faster than many of the already available budget graphics cards from AMD and Nvidia. If you watched one of my previous videos, in December last year, Tom from Moore's Law is Dead talked about some useful info of the Arc GPUs and where they stand against the Nvidia's Ampere family. The Arc GPU with 128 execution units was supposedly going against the RTX 3050 from Nvidia and the RX 6500 XT from AMD. We all know how RX 6500 XT performed, but the RTX 3050 was good in performance and was somewhere around the GTX 1660 Super. In a recent benchmark leak, thanks to APSAC, the mobile Arc A370M graphics card was spotted on CSoftware website, where it scored 2400 megapixels per second in general purpose test. This puts it close to the GTX 1650 Super, which scores more than 2500 megapixels per second. Although the GTX 1650 Super isn't the best budget GPU, but it is sufficient to play most games on high settings at 1080p resolution. This makes the Arc A370M a good choice for laptop gaming, but here's the catch. The Arc A370M is significantly weaker than the desktop Arc A380. If we compare the theoretical performance of the Arc A380 to the A370M, there is a big gap between the two, making the Arc A380 around 23% faster than the A370M. This means that it is definitely going against the RTX 3050 or the GTX 1660 Super, just as Tom reported. Moreover, this GPU is going to get the Intel XCSS Super Resolution support for better performance without losing graphics quality and ray tracing acceleration as well. Both the Arc A380 and A370M are going to feature 4GB of GDDR6 memory on a 64-bit memory bus and their memory will run at 14 Gbps clock speed. The only thing now left for Intel is to prepare the drivers well enough, otherwise the gaming performance can suffer greatly depending on different titles. The Arc GPUs are set to debut in the very first quarter of this year. That means we are hardly two months away from the official launch. However, only two of the five known Arc GPUs are going to launch first, and the Arc A380 is one of them. Along with the Arc A380, the other GPU that will launch is the flagship video card featuring 512 execution units. That means Intel is targeting to fulfill the needs of both the budget and high-end gamers. But as I always say, try to buy the graphics card at their MSRP. And if that's not possible considering the current situation, then buy them if they are up to 20% higher in cost than the MSRP. But don't go above that. Or the next thing you can do is wait till the second half, because that's the time when we are going to have more Intel Arc GPUs and better availability. I personally feel fortunate enough to get in the top 1300 contestants who participated in the scavenger hunt as now I can get $100 discount on one of the Arc GPUs. Did you participate in the contest? Let me know in the comments below and share this video with your friends who are waiting for the good news on GPU availability. And I will see you in the next video.